How's it going guys? Hugh Richardson from OnlineBassGuitar.com here. In this video I'm going to be comparing the Groove Gear Solo Strap with the Levy's MFS242. And at any point during this video if you want to get more information on either of these straps or check out some custom reviews I've left links down below in the description. So the first thing we're going to look at with these straps is the build quality. Now both of these straps are quite wide and quite thick so if you've got a heavy bass or you've got a bass that isn't balanced particularly well one of these straps can be a great way to soften the blow of that. So starting with the solo strap, made out of this really nice soft cushiony material. Then at the end of the strap, we go into this kind of leathery material, which is where one of the pins is. This is quite stiff and quite sturdy, so it's a little bit difficult actually getting it over the pin, but the good thing about it being stiff and rigid is once it is over the pin, you can be pretty sure that this is actually gonna stay on. This strap in particular, I've been using for about a year and it's still very stiff, very sturdy, and I've never once had any issue of it coming off, which is great. Down the other end of the solo strap is where I'm not quite so keen on the design. Again, we go into this leathery material here and we've got these pins that we kind of screw into place to actually shorten and lengthen the strap. Now, if you've got a solo strap at home, you might be looking at this and saying, oh, this doesn't look like mine, and you'd be correct. The solo strap actually comes with this other leather panel that's supposed to be attached on here like this. But this brings me into one of the problems, one of the things I don't actually like about the solo strap. These pins here that screw into place I find are actually a little bit flimsy. So if you move around on gigs quite a lot, sometimes I found that these can come loose and they can actually fall out. And once they've done that, they can be difficult to find. So in the case of my strap, this leather thing actually fell off and I couldn't find the pin to replace it. So I just ditched it and got rid of it. I can still use the strap fine and it still works, but it's just a little bit annoying that that happened. Then the last thing I don't really like about these pins is it doesn't offer the same amount of flexibility with regards to the length of the actual strap that something like a traditional looping system would. For me, this is where the Levy strap starts to come into its own a little bit. So starting in the same place down here, you can see what we've got is this kind of system with these slits rather than with these pinholes. Then we have a more traditional looping system here where you pull out one end of the strap and you can actually loop it through one of these holes and move it around like this to adjust how long you want the thing to actually be. So there's a bit more flexibility with this. Again, as you can see with the Levy strap, it's quite thick, it's quite wide. So again, it's gonna handle the weight of your bases very well. However, the actual material it's made out of doesn't feel quite as spongy and quite as soft as the Solo strap. So in terms of how well it disperses the weight of your shoulder and kind of absorbs that into your shoulder, I don't feel this is quite as strong as the solo strap. Then the material it's made out of is this kind of leathery material. I don't know if it's fake or real leather, but what I found on gigs is this can get a little bit kind of sweaty. And if it's the summertime and you're playing in a vest or something like that, or where the skin of your shoulder is exposed, it can actually make the skin a little bit sore from the kind of rubbing, which I don't really like. But for me, the biggest problem with this kind of leathery material is when we get to the actual pin straps here. So I'll do a close up so you can see this. The actual material, I'm not sure if you can see, is getting quite soft around here. So again, I've had this strap for perhaps a little bit longer than the Solo strap, but not much longer, so maybe about 14 months, so just over a year. This has gotten quite soft. And then going down the other end, this one is also getting quite soft as well. So the problem here is I've actually had this strap actually slip off the, the base a couple times. So my final thoughts as to which one I prefer, I think overall I prefer the Solo strap. Even though it's not quite as flexible with the length, I think overall it's built out of nicer material because it's much more spongy around here. It's much more comfortable so your base doesn't feel as heavy. And after a year of solid use, I found that the pin straps just aren't as prone to wear and tear as the Levy strap. That's just my opinion though. I'd love to hear what you think of these straps or any other straps that you use that you think have been great. So tell me what you think by leaving your comments and thumbs up down below. If this has been your first time here and you've enjoyed this video, then by all means consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you don't miss anything. And I'll see you in a another video real soon. Take care.